Hello and welcome back to AIBC Summit YouTube channel where we cover all things blockchain and crypto. My name is Yannick Collins and today I have the pleasure to be sitting with Netcoin's very own CEO, Francis Jimenez. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Yanni. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you too. Um, and uh, I've been wanting to do this interview for so long. I think Chad and I here have been talking about this for two, three months now. And finally, I get to sit down with you and speak more about Nick Coin and uh, some of the work that you're doing. But first, I'd love for you to give our viewers a little bit of a background, uh, an introduction of how you got into this space, especially as a Filipino, being in a country where blockchain is on its evolving stage. I want to know how was your journey like uh, prior to getting involved in this project? Sure. Thanks for that question, Yanni. Uh, I've actually been in the digital marketing space for the past 14 years. And uh, I started right out of college. And one of the things that I realized was, uh, you know, the Philippines is really talented. But most of us, I guess as a Filipino, right, uh, are used to being outsourcers and not to think about businesses globally. So, but me being a, being a digital marketer, I've sold a lot of ebooks. Until now, I sell ebooks abroad. Oh, wow. And that's how I got to learn about Bitcoin. Learned about Bitcoin maybe around 2013. Mm -hmm. But of course, it was just being used for games, you know, for it was just pretty much air, you know, like a token, right? Around 2018 or 2019, I started to really invest in crypto, but mostly just holding tokens and not really knowing what I'm doing. So, you know, when it crashed, you know, I bought again when, you know, the things were, were lower. So that's how I got started. But because of the digital nature of uh, blockchain, right? And of course, all these coins, I was already into a lot of uh, meme coins or coins that are really just plain air and uh, product. So that's where I really got a huge feel. I started maybe last year. And, uh, you know, when it, when it really got big, because again, it's all marketing, right? All hype, all marketing. Exactly. That's That's why I really got into it. And as a Filipino, I think, the Philippines is one of the best countries because, you know, we're all English speaking, you know, still labor is still cheap here. So there, there's a lot of opportunity for uh, the crypto space here. And I think, you know, uh, being Filipino and having enough knowledge about the space, it's just time for a good community or good coin to come out of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Fantastic. And could you give our viewers a little bit of um, a brief overview of what the coin is? What is your product? What is your service? Um, Give us some details. Sure. Uh, Netcoin pretty much uh, solves or solves the way to bridge traditional businesses to the blockchain. Because uh, one of the key parts of uh, you know the reason why we're having a hard time adopting blockchain or cryptocurrency in the Philippines is there are no real world use cases, right? And it's tough because uh, it's super expensive and super tedious. There's not a lot of uh, experienced teams that would provide you know blockchain exp uh, experience and technology to really help out and because if you use blockchain or cryptocurrency you know a lot of transactions would be easier and the middleman would be you know you would remove the middleman there it would be diminished and of course when you diminish that profits go higher and you know businesses can operate better and at scale so i think that's what we're trying to do here to help traditional business bridge the gap all right. Can you tell us about your team and how everything works out? Sure. Uh, my, my team, actually, we got together because a lot of us are in different spaces. And me being the marketing guy, uh, I met a lot of them because there are a lot of synergies for projects that needed marketing in fintech, in you know, a couple other spaces like uh, digital marketing or wallet spaces. Like, because uh, some of our partners are in the payments industries. And of course, they need to market. And that's how I met them. Uh, there's a lot of competition there. So they need a lot of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. So when I met them and we got closer and closer and we thought, you know what, the next step to all of this is actually, you know, the blockchain. It's actually the next internet, in my opinion. Very impressive. And where are we going to see your token on the exchange? When is the launch? Uh, give us some details about the time frame and the potential that it holds. Sure. Our launch would be, well, we hope to launch, of course, it's Halloween, right? So we want to do a monster launch on Halloween, and that's the goal, right? So we're doing our best to be on an exchange by October 31 this year. And I think it's just right because it's Halloween and, you know, we're trying to really go to the moon and aim for a monster launch. All right, we're going to definitely save the date October 31 for Nikoin's launch. And looking at the online reach and community engagements, 
uh, when it comes to Nikoyan, what kind of feedbacks are you receiving from the local community as this is a very important aspect uh, in tokenization? Um, and how has the demand been? The demand has been pretty good. Actually, uh, to be honest, there are a lot of private sale investors already. Uh, we can't name names, of course, but you know the demand is there. And we actually have a few industries lined up, including agriculture, remittance, and some in the play-to-earn or read-to-earn space. We all know that you know play-to-earn is hot right now. Uh, we don't, without revealing any partners, I think that's a space where we'll do really well. And the main thing is, because uh, one of our goals is the hardest part with play-to-earn right now is to actually cash in and out. Mm -hmm. So even if you can earn you know, money, if it's hard to you know, get into the game and if you get your money out, there's so much fees, then still that's a big loss. And that's what makes it harder for for a lot of people but with our system because we're doing remittance you know and play to earn and all of this if we can solve the in and out i think that would really improve the blockchain space in the country because that's the hardest part where do i put my money in in fiat to get to uh you know to a coin and on the opposite side the same thing to get it out so one of our key uh, partners that we're trying to get actually one of our first ones would be from remittance because that's the key right mm -hmm. All right, and talking about the adoption and application of blockchain technology, which is, has been on the rise globally, but I think you can agree with me on this, uh, the Philippines, in the Philippines, it's taking a bit too slow. Uh, why do you think that is? And do you see this as one of the main plights that your company is facing? What other challenges are you currently facing? Yeah, uh, that's true. And the main reason, in my opinion, that uh, cryptocurrency or the blockchain has been slow in the Philippines is simply because you know there are no real use cases and again like i said before it's the cashing in and cashing out it's quite difficult you know i mean uh it's not that easy to create accounts and you know set it up and put money in but if you can make it as seamless as possible meaning just one or two steps like just going to a 7-eleven and paying money and then you have crypto coming out then i think it would be solved and uh, with your question that's stating if it's a problem for my company, I think it's a good problem for us because uh, that's, the, that's the thing that we're trying to solve right now for traditional business. Because can you imagine if you can you know, buy, I don't know, maybe a potato far farm to market, mm -hmm. farm to table potato using the blockchain, then <laughs> it would be really good, right? But again, why is it difficult right now? Because you know, the infrastructure hasn't been placed properly right there, there's no remittance there's no oh where do i get which farm works but it takes some time to get to to get that uh set up but once it's set up then it will keep running constantly and i think the philippines even though we're slow in adoption uh, i think we're on the rise if, if i'm not mistaken we're number three on emerging markets right now so i think that's a huge huge step for us and again a good opportunity for people to come in and uh hopefully join us right in the Know, be one of our traditional businesses that come in and become part of the protocol. All right. Very excellent points, Francis. Um, is there anything else you would want to add um, about that is special about Nikoin that you want to get out to our audience? Well, I think uh, the special part about Nikoin is uh, what we're really trying to do here or what we're really implementing. Our goal really is to have a lot of use case projects because if you can see, the only reason uh, a coin increases in value 95% of the time, uh, apart from hype, 5% hype maybe, you know, it, maybe it will sustain for like a week or a month, but in order for it to really blow up or you know, really increase in value is use case. Uh, case in point, maybe I can talk about Axie a bit. The only reason Axie keeps increasing is there's so many people using it. Yeah. That's, the only, that's the only thing, and that's what makes a coin sustainable or any currency in fact. Well, fantastic. It has been such a pleasure talking to you, Francis. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Once again, congratulations on the launch. We'll, we'll be saving that date for October 31. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing more initiatives coming from Nikoin and from the team. So we wish you all the best of luck for the future. All right. Thank you so much, Annie. I appreciate it. All right. And that is it for myself and Francis. We'd love to hear your feedback. So let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you for the next video.